Geometry Angle When two rays meet at a point, an angle is formed. The meeting point is called the vertex and the two rays are called the arms of the angle. Angle AOB is formed by two rays OA and OB. OA and OB are two arms of the angle. O is called the vertex of the angle. Measuring angles. The angle is measured by a protractor. The protractors have scale 0 degrees to 180 degrees indicated in two directions. The unit for measurement of an angle is degree. An angle is measured with the help of a protractor. It is a geometrical instrument which has two edges one semicircular edge and another straight edge. The semicircular edge is graduated from 0 degrees to 180 degrees clockwise as well as anti-clockwise as shown in the figure. The straight edge of a protractor is called the base line or zero line. To measure the angle PQR, place the center of the base line of a protractor on point Q, the vertex of the angle. Adjust the protractor so that the baseline falls along BC. Read the scale at the point where the other arm PQ of the angle crosses the scale on the protractor. Here, arm PQ falls on the 80 degrees mark of the protractor. So we say the measure of the angle PQR is 80 degrees. Types of angles Acute angle an angle whose measure is between 0 degrees and 90 degrees is called an acute angle. Angle XYZ is equal to 40 degrees. It is an acute angle. Right angle An angle whose measure is 90 degrees is called a right angle. Angle PQR is equal to 90 degrees and is a right angle. Obtuse angle an angle whose measure is more than 90 degrees but less than 180 degrees is called an obtuse angle. Angle STU is equal to 115 is equal to 115 degrees. It is an obtuse angle. Straight angle. An angle whose measure is 180 degrees is called a straight angle. Angle ROS is equal to 180 degrees. It is a straight angle. Reflex angle. An angle whose measure is more than 180 degrees but less than 360 degrees is called a reflex angle. Angle ABC which is equal to 260 degrees is a reflex angle. Circles. The easiest way to draw a circle is to place a round and a flat object like a coin or a bangle on a piece of paper and trace the edge with a sharpened pencil. Another way of drawing a circle is to tie a short pencil to one end of a string and a thumbtack or pin on the other end. The end with the pin is fastened to a piece of cardboard or thick paper. Now with the string stretched tight, if we move the pencil around, it traces the boundary of a circle. The point O where the pin was fastened is known as the center of the circle. All points on the boundary like A, B, C, etc. of a circle are at equal distance from its center O. Radius If the points A, B, C, etc. are joined with the center O, we have line segments OA, OB, OC, etc. which are called the radii of the circle. Use a scale to measure radius OP and then compare the length with the radius OQ. We find OP is equal to OQ. Similarly, if we connect the center with other points on the circle and measure the line segments, we find that all radii of a circle are equal in length. In any circle, innumerable such radii can be drawn. Measure the three line segments OM, ON and OP. We find that the radius is greater than OM and the radius 
we find that the radius is greater than OM and the radius is lesser than OP. Point M lies in the interior of the circle. Thus, its distance from the center is less than the radius. Point P lies to the exterior of the circle. Its distance from the center is more than the radius. Point N lies on the circle. So, its distance from the center is equal to the radius. Or, we can say that whether a point lies in the circle's exterior or interior depends if the distance of the point from the center of a circle is more than or less than its radius respectively. Diameter If we draw a line through the center O of a circle and this line cuts the circle in points P and Q, then the line segment PQ is known as the diameter of the circle. In a circle, innumerable diameters can be drawn. If we measure diameters AB, EF and VW in the circle, we find that all diameters of a circle are equal in length.